So, we are in the anatomical hall, and anatomical hall is in a museum in the same time, because anatomy is uh, very related to the, to the art. In the anatomical hall, we have different uh, structures uh, which we can provide for you to study. For example, it is a uh, division for the osteology. Here you would study how to recognize different kinds of uh, types of vertebra, uh, are highlighted uh, points for the origin and insertion of muscle. This will help you to understand their action, which is the very important in the uh, traumatological department. On this side, uh, here are bones of the skull. It is very important in the neurosurgery, in the neurology department. After that, after studying bones, we will move to studying joints because we will study step by step from the simplest to the hardest one. So here, for example, we will join our bones together with joints and ligaments and cover it by muscles. Here only part of what we demonstrate for our students. For example, here we, we have the muscles of the back Yes, sir. Muscles of the lower no, limbs, yes, upper limbs muscles. Mm -hmm. Also, you can recognize it everything on the cadavers, and mm -hmm. particularly we can also describe some aspects of the muscles on the mummy. Okay, yes, sir. Here, after studying uh, locomotor system, bones, ligaments, and uh, the joints with muscles, we will move to study internal organs. Mm -hmm. Then we will move to another part of the, our anatomical hall. And especially here, it is only part what we present here, but also we have the cadavers where you can recognize all the structures, parts of the digestive system, for example, do them with the pancreas and surrounding structures, tongue with the larynx, uh, intestines, stomach with the omentum, uh, what else do we have here, parts of the uh, liver, uh, pelvic, uh, pelvic cavity, uh, here uh, are structures which are related to the region of the height, mainly it is the focus for the dentistry students, but some uh, exponents are related to the innervation, which also are very, very important. On this side, we have also we can demonstrate also parts of the respiratory system. For example, larynx, which is very very difficult and complicated structure, and that is why we show it on the different aspect because larynx consists of the cartilages, with the ligaments, joint muscles, everything, parts of the and organs of the urinary system. Here is very interesting. Here is very interesting part, and my favorite part. It is the neurological part of Me our. <laughs> it is neurological part of uh, our anatomical hall, brain, brain and its structures. It is very very difficult, but we try to show you everything and to provide you from the simplest to the most difficult thing in the neurological department. After studying. Uh, brain, you will understand most of the clinical uh, situation because neuro neurology is mainly based on the anatomy. If you know anatomy, then neurology is very, very simple for you. Here we have the heart. Yes, heart is also a very complicated organ, but here we can demonstrate different aspects of the structure of the heart its uh, surrounding structures and uh, in the end of studying anatomy you will move to, stu uh, to studying um, vessels and nerves. nerves. Yes, sir. It's very important for the clinical practice. For example, here you can see the shoulder plexus, terminal branches and their distribution of the shoulder plexus. Here lumbosacral plexus, the distribution on the shin and the foot here and here also. Also back mounts uh, of the intercostal nerves, uh, brachial plexus, uh, lumbar, uh, lumbar nerves, lumbar plexus, intercostal nerves, 
and uh, very very interesting it is the vitamins of the um, visceral plexus, aortical abdominal plexus here and here which demonstrate how is complicated innervation of the internal organs and it is located on the aorta and it is very rare and uh, as professor from the Michigan University told he never seen something like this in the world it is very very rare exponents very rare amounts uh, in, uh, of the abdominal plexuses. Ah, cadaver is not here. So these are the brains. Cadaver is look ground and floor because it should be like for the practical passes. For example, yes, here we have a lot of brains. That we can take for students few of them. They are made in the different sections. And in this way, students can observe the different matters uh, of the brain, different structures on the different sections, because uh, brain is very specificated on the different uh, level the of, section, yeah. of section. Yes, a little bit above, few centimeters above of the planes uh, of section, then image will be another one. And yeah. it is very difficult for students to understand it on the image, which is why if we will take the same brain, and cut it on the different levels, then we can show how this image change. It will be very useful for the X-ray examination, MRI, uh, computer tomography, everything. Then you will understand how does this image change. And then you can found this 40 of different damage. Here also, particularly here are presented parts uh, of the digestive system, for example, liver, uh, urinary system, kidney, also there are present parts of the human body which we provide for our students for dissection and uh, uh, preparation is uh, parts, uh, it is the articulations and with the part of muscles. Yes, here is the section of, on the different levels. Uh, of the fore, uh, of the forearm of the shin to provide the topographical relation between muscles, bones, uh, fascias, and uh, vessels with nerves. So, guys, love you, Mr. Curiosity. This is a real body cadaver, and in the inside the university, and we study here from this cadaver, and also we have more cadavers inside. Oh, this one, this one, this one, and this one, yes, this one, yes, this one, this one, superior, this one, inferior, inferior. 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 Superior is close to deep artery of arm, yes, and this one, inferior, uh, ulnar collateral artery. artery, yes, they will go to, um, uh, they will go down, what, to uh, anastomos, to, With the, uh, axilla or armpit. Uh, so, this muscle which lies uh, superficially and is cut off is pectoralis major muscle. Uh, deep to it there is pectoralis minor muscle. Both of them form anterior wall of axilla. Yes, so they uh, cover it like this. But to see content of uh, axilla, uh, uh, we remove those muscles, we cut them off, and you are able to see axillary artery. Them here. This one is what? Brachial. Brachial. Yes. This one I mean, is radial artery. This one is ulnar artery. Uh, ulnar artery. Yes. So, uh, this uh, artery is what? Um, it should be a, a recurrent. Yeah, this one is what? Brachial. Uh, brachial. brachial. Yes. This one I mean, is so radial. Radial. radial artery. This one is ulnar artery. Uh, ulnar artery. Yes. So, uh, this uh, artery is what? Multiple. Um, it should be a, a recurrent. Hmm? 
which uh, uh, ascends from the uh, anterior median fissure of spinal cord. It divides ventral surface of uh, medulla into uh, similar halves. And, uh, yeah. This Brilliant. box is with uh, uh, brains. Brains. Like it smells not good. Okay. It's in formalin? It's formalin, yes. No, 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 no. What? You want me to take it out? Uh, not grow. Um, that. It's like grove or sulcus, but fissure. Yes? yes? Better to say fissure. Uh, middle fissure, which uh, uh, stands from the uh, anterior median fissure of spinal cord. It divides ventral surface of uh, medulla into uh, similar halves. And uh, lateral to uh, middle sulcus, there is there are pyramids. Yes, lateral to pyramids, there are all leaves. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. There are fasciculus gracilis, mm -hmm. cuneatus mm -hmm. on the back side. Yes. Here, worms is this is midline where basilar artery is at. Right, no, no, chemical formal. What you formal. want me to take it out? Yeah, I can, ma'am. Mm -hmm. But why? What is this? Mama. Yeah. Yeah, cerebellum. Cerebellum. Like the medulla oblongata. Med you can see how medulla oblongata and mm -hmm. pons look like in reality. See, middle. Hey. 